Hey, welcome back everybody. Of course, this is Dr. Keith McNally and we are going to continue to explore the culture of project-based learning. And so I'm gonna create a series of vlogs that talk about the culture of PBL. And so what is the culture of PBL? Culture, of course, is adopting into the norms, the customs, and the language and the behaviors of a particular society or group of people. And so there are teachers out there and there are educators out there that use project-based learning as a paradigm, as a learning model, as a learning philosophy, which I tend to agree with. And so I preach that a lot, I teach it a lot, and I consult on it a great deal. But in order to become immersed into that culture, you have to start with where you are because immersing yourself into something different is, is gonna require change. And so it's good to just to start where you are and take steps slowly. So if you're trying to adopt PBL into your classroom or to your grade level or to your school system as a whole, don't just jump in there and do an automatic change. Now. Immersion means that you take slow steps. Now, it's going to be involving a culture, so you want to grab onto those norms, customs, beliefs, values, but take it slowly because change is difficult and change takes time. So give yourself time to do it. If it takes nine weeks, if it takes a, a set semester, if it takes a year to make that adaptation into a adopting those values, norms, and behaviors, that's okay. Because you don't want to go in there and just create chaos in your classroom or in your in your school system. That's not going to be a good thing. So we want to start learning the language, learning the behaviors, learning the thinking process, learning all of those elements. And then finally, when it's all comfortable and you feel confident about it, then you could start integrating project-based learning into your structure, how you do things in the classroom, how to engage uh, your peers differently, how to engage the thinking about education differently, and of course, how to engage your students better. So with that, I'm going to continue to talk about all of these things. Join me in the journey, and I'll see you next time. Take care.